hello guys welcome to my channel my name is apollonia and this is tough talk today yeah today's topic is about tyler perry uh this is a topic that has been going uh crazy on internet because of what he said some remarks he made uh on an interview and yeah here comes another man who puts black women to the last again so this is the video of uh, what Tyler Perry said. Uh, listen to the video and then uh, some uh, uh, TikTokers had to say about uh, his remarks on this interview. A lot of women, especially black women, and I'm right getting trouble for saying this, black women are making a lot more money for the most part than yeah. black men. If you can find love, if that man works, you know, at whatever job mm -hmm. and is a good man, and is good to you mm -hmm. and honors and honors the house and honors his wife and does what he can mm -hmm. because his his gift may not be your gift exactly that is okay mm -hmm. that's not somebody who's beneath you yeah that's somebody who came to love you at your work mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right yeah and as long as he's secure in himself to know that yep she makes most of the money all i can pay is the light bill as long as she's comfortable enough to say i'm gonna cover the mortgage and all the other stuff you have the light bill babe you can take me to dinner every now and then mm -hmm. that is fine yeah that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. That's fine. This may be none of my business, but why is an unmarried drag queen telling women what they need to do with men? An unmarried drag queen. Ladies, don't listen to him. <laughs> I need, I, they need to make five times more and I got to have the- Now, you won't find me talking about the black community because I don't feel like it's my place. Anything I have to say about the black community is based on observation, growing up, going to black churches, growing up in a majority black community, and then having a lot of people in my life be black women. All of that still does not give me a right to say anything over any other black person or black woman's voice. I saw this video of Tyler Perry and I wanted to add my two cents on it from my perspective as a white woman, looking on the outside in. And as someone who regularly talks about sexism and brainwashing and programming and feminism and blah blah blah. This video is not monetized and if it is not received well, I will fucking delete it. Go watch that video with Tyler Perry, but there's a reason why I clipped the exact clip that I clipped it at. Notice the tone of voice that he goes into when he's mimicking black women. Notice how instead of addressing their very real concerns, and acknowledging their standards that were put there for a fucking reason, he goes to characterizing them. He immediately turns them into a joke. And he's built his entire career off this. Black women are damned if they do, and they're damned if they don't. They are mocked by their own fucking men and told what they should and should not accept by their own men. And we won't even get into the fucking rest of the world that treats them the way that they treat them. They have to work 10 times as hard to get even a fraction of what anybody else is getting. And now they're out earning their male counterparts and it's their problem? And they should start making compromises? It once again goes back to being their fault? You have to ask yourself why a billionaire such as Tyler Perry is addressing this issue at all. What objective does he have in addressing this issue? And how much do are we expecting black women to continue to carry on their fucking backs? Because at this point, it's, it's everything. When will black women be allowed to be women and enjoy their lives and enjoy their accomplishments without always having the fucking fire go to their feet? Again, I don't talk about this very much because it's not my place. I totally understand that. And I can already see the comments rolling in that I'm like, I'm pandering and I'm doing this and that and the other. This is something I'm passionate about. But again, I don't like, I don't want to speak over anyone else's voice. I only want to add if it's, if it means anything at all. But it fucking upsets me. So this Tyler Perry interview where he's talking about uh, the light bill keeps popping up on my feed. And uh, I wanted to talk about something that it seems he either is unaware of or is just willfully um, neglecting to mention and that is that in general men's insecurities in a situation like this play a huge role in uh, in that relationship so if a woman is completely comfortable being the primary income stream um, the guy in the relationship may not be okay with that. It may make him feel very insecure and 
um, many times men will take their insecurities out on their partners. So it could be that even if a woman is completely comfortable being the breadwinner or whatever, um, she could still be seeking out um, men who make more than her just to avoid having to deal with um, all of the behaviors of a man who's insecure about being in that type of relationship. And I don't know if he's just really out of touch because he's extremely wealthy and doesn't have to worry about this at all, or if he's willfully neglecting to mention it. So you, if you can find love, if that man works, you know, at whatever job mm -hmm. and is a good man and is good to you mm -hmm. and honors and honors the house and honors his wife and does what he can mm -hmm. because his his gift may not be your gift exactly that is okay mm -hmm. that's not somebody who's beneath you yeah that's somebody who came to love you at your worth mm -hmm. Imagine if we could hear this non-breadwinner apologistic explanation and sympathy from a man towards women who are stay-at-home moms, stay-at-home wives, or are women who are not the breadwinner. It would be a totally different world, but of course that is not the world that we live in. And furthermore, it is not women who need to understand that men who are not the breadwinner are not beneath them. Try telling that to men, because it is men who need to hear this. Because a man's income disparity with his wife and his perception of relationship quality is in the tank if he is not able to uphold his traditional masculine ideology, which is the result of an internalization of culture's accepted ideals of masculinity. So if a guy is not the breadwinner, he feels powerless. He feels inferior. So what do you think the quality of the relationship is going to be like then? It's not women who need to be told this. Yet again, we are hearing a message from a man towards women when it is men who need to hear this message. And this isn't even like the point of my video. Like, we're just getting started. I try to stay out of black women's business. It's not my business. But as a white woman, I want to remind everyone that Tyler Perry does not care what women think because Tyler Perry is not a straight man. So please don't take Tyler Perry's advice on what you as a woman should be settling for because that man doesn't care what happens in your home and in your bedroom and in your life. Yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. As long as she's comfortable enough to say, I'm going to cover the mortgage and all the other stuff. You have a light bill, baby. You can take me to dinner every now and then. That is fine. Yeah. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, but that's so hard for a lot of people to take in because that means, no, no, no. I need somebody to... <laughs> I need, I, they need to make five times more. <laughs> oh shit, this isn't really funny at all. This is fucking serious. I am so sorry. I, I, this is like not meant to be disrespectful. I can't fucking believe what I'm hearing. I'm not hearing conversations at all about women just saying, oh, the man has to be the breadwinner. It's not that simple. And that man's Tyler Perry's logical man mind. That's how he's breaking it down. He has it simplified and reduced to that, which is just kind of like, you know, the proof is in the pudding. Men's masculine ideology and relationship quality is partly based on income disparity. Now, this isn't all men. And I'm not saying this like, oh, I'm the Mr. Nice Guy, like it, it's, it's every guy but me. No, no, no. It's either traditional masculine ideology or it's non-traditional masculine ideology. Men who embody traditional masculine ideology are the ones that are having problems with not being the breadwinner. Well, the part that kind of makes everything complicated is whenever guys are fucking dusty. Okay, and they're not able to pull hardly any income into the house. Nonetheless, be the breadwinner. So you got a bunch of guys who are just kind of like really just not there. And at the same time, their masculine, traditional masculine ideology is all tied up in their power and authority and how that plays into the breadwinner model, which came to prominence in the 19th century by mostly being spearheaded by Christian missionaries and the English. And furthermore, that breadwinner model 
goes on to play into this notion of what was known back then as the feminization of poverty. So if you're broke and you're not the breadwinner, then you're not a traditional man. So it's only traditional masculine ideology, you know, men with that, that have this problem because they see it as feminine. But if they can't go out there and make that money themselves, then whose fault is it? Well, we already know whose fault it is. It's the Dusties. Uh, I'm at four minutes. If you want a part two, let me know. Thank you so much for watching up to the end. And I hope you like this video. Please uh, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't joined the crew. And see you in the next video. Paka paka.